Welcome back to the Bulldog Blitz. Our own Lance Rinker looked into the team's season so far and the play of sophomore standout Sarah Hamm. To start the season, it seemed that the Butler women's basketball team had more misses than makes. With losses in seven of their first eight games, the Bulldogs were in desperate need of made baskets and wins. Since then, they've gotten both. Now, in the thick of the Horizon League standings, Butler has momentum heading toward the end of the season. A key contributor down the stretch has been sophomore center Sarah Hamm. Hamm is the Bulldogs' leading scorer and posted a career-high 30 points in a conference win over Milwaukee. I think we have a lot of creators on the team. Um, Jenna can drive in and kick out. I think what really helps me are those playmakers who really make things happen and get me points. But Ham attributes her success to more than just her teammates. I think I've been learning the system really well. You know, everyone preaches the Butler system, Butler system, and once you, you know, I'm getting a better understanding of it, and I'm really starting to buy into the system, and, you know, that just makes a world of difference. As the regular season draws to a close, the Bulldogs have shown improvement, but Butler head coach Beth Kucher knows that there is more work to be done. We're just so young, we have to get better every day. You know, it's not going to just be about um, game planning all the time for us. We have to get better as a team for this year and then for the future of our basketball team also. For the Bulldog Blitz, I'm Lance Rinker. Joining me in the studio now is Sarah Ham herself and freshman Haley Howard. Thank you both for being here. How are you doing? Good. 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 All right, tomorrow you have a big game against Valparaiso. Dropped the first one of the season only by five, so it's a close game. So how important is this game for your team in terms of staying above 500 in conference and going into the second half of conference play? Um, I mean, it's a very important game. Obviously, we had a hard one to Valpo last time we played them. Um, we're really looking forward to showing how much we've improved as a team and really looking forward to coming out and, you know, proving our stance in conference and having a good game. I mean, I would say the same thing. Um, probably with Valpo being the last team in the league and us obviously um, being fifth in the league and winning the first two games of the second round of conference, I think it's pretty important that um, we come out with a win on this one. Mm -hmm. You started the season dropping seven of the first eight. So what was the mindset and attitude at that time, you know, looking forward to the rest of the season? Um, I think it was really important to try to stay positive. Obviously, it's hard when you, you know, come off games like that. But um, we really looked to improving ourselves, not really focusing on our losses or our opponents. Because with a young team like we have, we have a lot of room for improvement. And I think every day we've just kept improving. And, you know, I think we've made a lot of improvements since the beginning of season. So being such a young team, how important has the senior leadership been? And how has that helped you guys? Uh, I mean, it's very, very important. We have wonderful seniors, Devin Briley, Kaylee May, both of them are you know, they're players that lead by example. You can see how hard they play and how much, you know, they want to win, how much they, you know, buy into this program. And I think it's really, they lead by example for how we should play. They talked a little bit earlier about, you know, sticking with the system. And you have said that, you know, you're finally starting to understand the system, buy into the system. What does that mean to both of you? You know, what is the system? I mean, I think that Butler is a very unique school. You know, we have the Butler way, which is, you know, very different from other schools. You know, we have certain things that we play for that's, you know, higher than ourselves. So. What's it mean for you as a freshman coming in, you know, the Butler way, the Butler system? I mean, it's definitely coming in, it's, it's hard to understand because you haven't been around it. But then once you see, like she said earlier, like how the seniors play and what they play for, and like Coach said earlier, like playing above yourself and going outside of yourself for the team. Um, I mean, it's cool. It's not something that you did in high school. It's not something that you grew up doing in like AAU or travel basketball. So I think it's neat. So after the rough start, what was the reason for the turnaround to come around and being 12 and 10 now? Um, I think a lot of it had to do with experience. Our freshmen got experience. And, you know, like she said, when you first get into the system, it's hard to really understand it very well. I think everyone's getting a better understanding of it. Um, I think our mental toughness has definitely improved. The players are getting stronger mentally on the court, and that, you know, it translates into physical toughness. Would you agree? How do you feel like the freshmen have impacted? I, I completely agree. Um, 
I feel like it is definitely experience and knowing the system and learning the defense, learning the offense, like getting the plays down. And then once you get that, I mean, you can just play. Mm -hmm. You mentioned before you're fifth in conference right now, six and five. So, I mean, looking past the record, how do you feel your play has been in conference? Um, obviously, we started off conference a little shaky, a little rocky. Um, but we're one of those, you know, yearly unique teams in conference that has the ability to still keep on improving. I don't think there's a lot of teams left that have a lot of room for improvement, but we have a lot. So um, obviously we started off rough, but as we keep going, we keep improving. I think we still have a lot of room for improvement. They talked a lot in the last interview as well about preparation and preparing for games. So as a freshman, especially the games you've already played, how did you go about preparing for teams that you've never played before? I mean, it was definitely hard because all the girls, like all the upperclassmen, knew who these players were, knew who, the, who their key players were, and we didn't. So, I mean, we kind of had to leave it to the piece of paper we got, the scouting report, and just study it and memorize it and just come out and just play. I mean, how do you feel like your preparation has changed from a year ago? I mean, only playing nine games, so not a lot of experience, but still a little bit more than the freshmen. Um, I think... I've learned how to better focus on myself and what I need to do for these games. Um, obviously, you need to be in tune with what the other team is going to do, but I think I've learned how to focus on myself and what I need to do for the upcoming game. How is the effect of Tara Burns not on the team anymore? How have you guys been able to make up for her scoring and presence on the court? Um, well, Tara Burns TV was a big loss to us, um, but I think that she was, she was a wonderful leader, and she's still kind of been around. If we need advice or anything, we can talk to her and get some help from her. Um, obviously, it was a big blow, but I think we had people that stepped up. There wasn't just one person. We had a lot of people step up to kind of take that place. Who do you think some of the biggest contributors have been this year? Um, obviously, our freshmen have a big impact. Um, I think that, you know, Devin Barley has really stepped up. Last year, she wasn't really a scorer. She was more of a defensive player but she stepped into the offensive position. And I also think that Jenna Cobb has really stepped up her game, and she's, she's had to play a lot of positions that she hasn't played in the past, but I think she's doing a really good job with it. As a freshman and knowing that it's a young team, did you come in feeling pressure to perform? Yes, I felt a lot of pressure, and it's something that, I mean, everyone feels pressure in college basketball. I mean, it's Division I. It's, it's a pressure game. Um, but it's something you have to get used to, and I think that's the difference between the beginning of the season and the second half of the season, like we talked about earlier, um, experience. And I think that's a big part of the second half of the season because our freshmen, me included, have learned to deal with that pressure and turn it into something positive. Mm -hmm. You've both turned into key players on this team. So you're averaging over 11 points a game over the season. You're not far behind with eight. So. I mean, what do you attribute your success to? Well, I think just the, I think the mental toughness, a lot of it has to do with that and, you know, learning the program a little better. I would say learning the program too. And obviously like your other teammates, it's not a one man game. So mm -hmm. our success has come from them as well. I mean, yeah. So how is the team, we talked about a little bit earlier, the team attitude at the beginning of the season. What is it like now? What, you know, what are your thoughts on the end of the season? Like, what are you pushing for? Uh, we're obviously, we're pushing for a high place in conference. Um, we're pushing for every day to see improvement, um, to come into practice and just play hard. Um, I think since the beginning of the season to the end of the season, you see a lot of, a lot more focus in our practices, you know, focusing on ourselves and what we need to do as a team. Okay. Um, what do you feel like the biggest difference in your game is from last year? I mean, obviously you're coming off of an injury, but I mean, you played some games, so what do you think your biggest improvement has been? Well, I think just the experience has really, it's been a big difference, and I think that I kind of learned what my roles are as a player, and that really helps you in a game is to know what your roles are. So when you step onto the court, and this can be for both of you, I mean, what do you feel like your role is? Like, what do you expect from yourself every day? Um, I think my role is to be a leader for the post, um, to play hard, 
on every possession and just to try to get points on offense and try to get stops on defense. I feel the same. I feel like a big part of my game, especially coming in as a freshman, is working hard and playing hard and getting doing little things like getting rebounds and um, obviously scoring is up there too. So how, I mean, they talked a little bit in the last interview as well, but uh, how big is it that you guys are down in the post and can open up the inside out game? Um, it's really important. I mean, if you're just gonna like just shoot threes, you know, it's a lot different if you have people in the inside presence to open up those three point shots. And I think it's just really, we're there to open up shots for the guards and they're there to open up shots for us. So I think it's a, it's a give and take with the post and the guards. Mm -hmm. All right, and we talked about, you know, the team goals and going on through conference. What are each of your individual goals for the rest of this season? Um, I think just to play hard and to keep improving because I know I personally have a lot of improvements to make. Mine would be the same, uh, keep improving. Um, also, obviously, learning the Butler way and learning the tradition because we're still freshmen, so we still have um, work to do on learning that. Um, also, I would want to work on my defense, definitely my defense. Mm -hmm. So being young and still having a few years here, what do you want your legacy to be when you leave here? What kind of mark do you want to leave on this program? Uh, like I've mentioned before, Butler is a very, this is a very special program. And I think I just want to continue the tradition and, you know, leave something for the players behind us to follow. I agree. I mean, Devin going out this year, she's a great leader. She's a great person to look up to. And I just want to, like Sarah said earlier, continue with the tradition and um, leave something here like Devin has. All right. Thank you both for being here. Uh, I appreciate it. And that will do it for this week's episode of the Bulldog Blitz. We would like to again thank all of our guests for being on the show today. Join us next week as we take an in-depth look at the men's basketball team and their season so far. For Mallory Winters, I'm Marissa Johnson.